Hello everyone. The last video we discussed how we are going to uh, write an implementation for all my employee operations like add employee, delete employee, update or get list of employees or get employee by ID, all those information. Here we are going to see, I'm going to write on a service for this, okay? So I'm going to create a new class here or what I'm say, I'm going to create a new interface which is nothing but employee service. So the package I need to provide here, cred, okay, and enter the service. So employee. So the operation which I'm going to perform in the employee interface, it's again the same which is there in the employee DAO. Okay, so I'm going to write the employee service IMPL also. I mean implementation for that. Employee service IMPL. Finish. So uh, this is my service implementation. And since it is in service implementation, make sure you need to provide annotation called service. Okay. So and then I need to have a reference to my employee DAO because it has the implementation of my employee employee DAO E-M-P-L-O-I-A-E employee DAO so I need to have a setter method for this constructor so only setter is fine for me so I don't need the get method here ok click ok and you need to provide the auto wired so it will take care of the implementation ok so what uh, what else here okay so i have a service implementation so why i'm not using the interface here i need to implement the interface here so employee not do employee service so it will ask us to provide all the implementation it's d it's it's ultimately depends on you. you either you can use the interface because i don't want to implement all my methods here it depends I can implement whatever method I want. So in that case, what you can do is instead of interface, you can use the abstract. Okay. Okay. What we are going to do now? So I have employee DDO. It's just a calling method. I have a guest list of employees. Okay. Just use dot get list of employees. That's all it will do. Okay. And here add employee. That's it. And here same update employee. Okay, then and here I get the same case. Today, date employee based on my first name and here find employee with my first name. Okay, so now I have the uh, I have a DAO and. Uh, it has a DO implementation which has all the uh, database operations and I have a service which can expose to a controller and I have the service implementation also where we'll use the DO methods to call the implementations okay so what I'm gonna do now so now we have to create a controller for example if I'm getting a request which method it has to call and where it is has to go okay let's create a controller class so I don't want to keep it in a DO controller. So this is employee controller. Okay. So this is the control class. You need to annotate and tell the container saying like this is my controller file. And all my request mapping comes under this particular tag. Value. This is my pa employees or employee. Okay, so that all the request and response has been handled through this controller. This will redirect to the page where I had to go and which page I need to call. Okay, so here um, what you can do is I uh, employees because oh, here we are pretty much using the employee service because employee service has an implementation the help of employee DU. So I need to use the employee service here. So employee service 
in B service. Okay. So it's internet interface, you have to put auto wired so it can take care of the implementation. 